This is Eric from SkySwitch, and I wanted to take a minute to show you our new network assessment tool. So uh, our unbranded version of this tool is available at npat.skyswitch.com. Now, uh, it's very easy for you to brand this, and I'll go over that in a minute. But uh, on the unbranded version, I'll just show you how it works. So uh, when you browse to this page, the first thing you see is a representation of the United States and the locations of each of our three geo nodes. So uh, what you do is you just select the geo node that you'd like to test to uh, and click it. And that will give you an option for three different tests. We have a, a route test, a speed test, and a VoIP test. Uh, the route test will show you uh, all of the hops between the wherever the browser happens to be located, the local network. And of course, this tool is designed so you can give it to your customers and they can test uh, the network from their uh, location to the geo node that they will be pointed to. So the route test uh, works like this. Uh, you just uh, select the type of test and click run. Uh, as the test is running, you'll see uh, the screen says initializing, and now it's tracing the packets uh, going downstream, and in a second, it will trace the packets going upstream. Okay, and here's the uh, upstream path. All right, uh, so now what you get is a results page showing you the relevant metrics of the path between uh, this browser and the New York Geo uh, node location. Uh, so up here are some statistics and down towards the bottom are the actual IP addresses or hops. Okay, now once the, the test is run, you can click email support and this will email uh, a copy of the test results to uh, the email address that you configure in your dashboard. And I'll show you that again in a second. So that was the first test type. Now if I click uh, test type again, I'll be able to choose the next test type. This time I'm going to choose speed test and uh, I'll click run and you'll see that the duration was for eight seconds. So it's going to run this test for eight seconds. You can change that variable to be something uh, more uh, to get a more comprehensive test. So uh, here we are testing the download speed and now we're going to test the upload speed. Okay, uh, once again, we now have results which show you the statistics uh, of that particular uh, test. Now there's a, there's a number of statistics here. Uh, some of them you may be familiar with, some you may not. Uh, We've included a helpful glossary on this page that will explain each of the tests, uh, test results rather, and what they mean to your customer. Uh, lastly, I'm gonna click on test type and choose the VoIP test. Now this is probably the most helpful test because what it does is it simulates uh, an actual voice call between the location and the geo node. And you can uh, select number one, the number of lines to simulate. So I'm just gonna put in three. So this, is, this would be simulating three concurrent phone calls. Uh, and you can also choose the codec to use during that simulation. Uh, and I'm going to just stick with G711 since that is our, our uh, default codec. So now when I click run, it's going to, to simulate those calls. Okay, and, and here we have the results. Now you'll see uh, that among the results are the MOS score or mean opinion score, uh, as well as jitter, packet loss, uh, and all of the usual metrics that you're accustomed to seeing in a, in a quality of service report. Uh, again, all of these results uh, are explained in the glossary. And uh, as with the other tests, you can click email support to send the results of that test to uh, an email address that you specify. So that's it, that's how the test works. Now I'm just gonna spend a second to show you uh, how you can brand this to use your own look and feel and URL. So I'm clicking now over to the uh, dashboard and I'm in a, our demo dashboard. And if I come over here to reseller settings under the branding tab, we see that there's uh, now a new uh, entry for network performance and assessment tool. So uh, from this particular page, I can uh, set up my own domain and this domain uh, can be your domain uh, and uh, whatever domain you're using for your PBX portal or your meeting manager pages, that same uh, domain with a custom subdomain like speedtest.mycompany.com can be used. So uh, the other settings here are the title of the page, it shows in the browser bar, uh, the support URL, 
uh, and the support email address, which is where your support emails will be sent to when somebody clicks uh, email support, and then uh, the colors and the logo that you wish to use on this page. So anyway, filling out this page and clicking update will create that custom branded page for you that you can then share with your end users. So that concludes this uh, short demo. Hope it was helpful.